Hey guys, what is up? Happy Halloween. I am very excited to be here today making this video for you guys because Playdemic has just launched a brand new course today, October 22nd, 2020, and we are really pumped to be playing some new holes. So I absolutely love the course. I really feel like this course is going to be on a lot of people's favorites list because it sure is on mine. But we've got yet again another hole this week for our golf class library and a whole new course to add to the list. So without further ado, we've got hole number one, par four here for Phantom Mansion. All right, guys, so here is hole number one, par four for Phantom Mansions. I think that the course here is absolutely beautiful. I really like what they did with the scenery, uh, you know, around the entire course with, uh, you know, the purple kind of hay bales, making it, re you know, really look, you know, kind of darkish and Halloween-like. Um, but basically, what we're going to do here, how we're going to play this for rookie division from the front tee box, uh, there is a little bit of an elevation. It's about 5%, 5 to 10% here. Uh, but what we're going to do here is play this bounce between the trees shot. Um, you can pull your ball guide back just a little bit, but what, what I would recommend doing here is using uh, a bar to two bars of right hand side spin here to make sure that your ball guide is just about right through the middle of those trees. And it's going to shoot our ball right down that hill and roll really nice here to set us up for a nice second shot. Um, if you do get far enough down there, you're basically going to have a wedge shot to the pin, uh, which there I would recommend extending out your ball guide with full topspin. Um, but there on the very right-hand side of uh, that fairway where my opponent uh, was just a second ago, I believe that you could actually use full left-hand spin and full topspin with about 25-30% curl to the left and you could probably drive the green on this hole with a really nice shot here if you hooked it around shot. from that right hand side fairway to the left down towards the hole which I'm going to guess is going to be the most aggressive angle to play this hole um, but basically our second shot here once we get down on the fairway is going to either be a minimum distance short iron shot here like you're going to see me use or you're going to have about a max distance to mid distance wedge shot here uh, i had the thorn so i decided to go with a full backspin approach here um, it wasn't really uh, you know spot on there I was a little bit too far up with my club here, so I just basically made my wind adjustment and went with just a little bit of underpower here, uh, just to try to get it to blow my ball back just that little bit, and it actually ended up being pretty spot on there as it, uh, you know, one bounce dunked there right into the hole. Uh, so we would have been very, very close there uh, otherwise. Um, but what I want you guys to do if you get up there far enough uh, if you do have to use your wedge here is definitely extend out that ball guideline especially if you have like the firefly or the rapier at a higher level um, you know with a lot of topspin you can really extend out that ball guide so that you can you know really take out a lot of that wind effect so that it doesn't move on you a whole lot and you might miss so uh, you know definitely Keep that in mind when you're going there, because as you you just saw, my opponent missed because he hit great left there a little bit, and the wind was also blowing that way, so it didn't help him. But I've actually been able to find a clip now of the drive that I was talking about here at the very beginning, where we could possibly use uh, quite a bit of curl here from the front tee on rookie division. If we have an apocalypse or a higher level rock, um, driver here we could use uh, quite a bit of topspin uh, we're gonna need a little bit more topspin here than the APOC 2 has and a full curl I would recommend 100% curl here uh, all the way around here to the left so we can get it as close as we can tight to that left bunker 
uh, because it's going, the fairway is going to push us from left to right anyway. So if we can get as close as we can here to that left-hand side rough line, it'll push us and roll as far as we can right down there towards the pin. But that is going to be the final wrap up here for our very first phantom mansions hole here for the golf clash library i really hope that this guide helps you and you guys got a nice uh you know picture here of the very first hole that we're going to have hole number one par four so uh let me know guys down below how you guys like the course really hope that you guys do good in the upcoming tournaments and we will catch you guys in the next video j rob from team energy golf clash out take it easy